Now at 5.30, there is troubling new information about the dangers for children online. CBS News has learned that the number of calls about attempts to lure or exploit children on the Internet surged 35% to one tip line in just the past year. CBS 4's Scott McFarlane obtained a new review by the National Center for Missing and Exploiting Children and has a warning for all parents. When she was 13 years old, Alicia Kozak thought she'd found another teen friend online. Lured from her home in Pittsburgh by a man who held her captive for days, eventually triggering a nationwide manhunt. I was taken to Virginia and held captive in his basement dungeon where I suffered horrendous abuse. More than a decade after being rescued by law enforcement, Kozak says predators realize kids across America now have even wider access to phones and computers at an even younger age. If a predator were to try to groom a child at a park or at a mall or somewhere at school, something like that, they really only have those few chances. Whereas on the internet, they can just easily close that chat box and close that app and go to that next possible victim. Predators recognized there was a moment and an opportunity in a pandemic. The predators recognized that there was going to be more hours online where teens and children were going to be unsupervised, and they were encouraging each other to seize upon that opportunity. The nonprofit National Center for Missing and Exploited Children operates a clearinghouse for tips of child online exploitation. In a new report released to CBS News, the center says it received 29.3 million reports of suspected child sexual exploitation last year, an increase of 35% from 2020, and an all-time high. As for parents, Kozak says taking away devices is not the answer. They have to monitor what their children are doing online. They have to pay attention, and I know it might seem like you're invading their privacy, but you're not. You're keeping them safe. That was Scott McFarlane reporting. Nearly all of the 29 million tips came from phone and social media companies, which are required to report possible illegal images to the National Center. Now, one other note. This past year, they received more tips about unlawful videos than still images.